Hello everyone, welcome to the Archipelago live stream. Great to have you here. I can see there's a few people that are on already. I know Adorito, props to you. You were here 10 minutes early. Nice and prompt, I like it, thank you. Welcome you, Nat. Juniper, Chris is on, Lisa's here. We've got Richard as well. If you are tuning in, jump in the chat and let me know that you are here. Say hello. It's always nice to know who's tuned in. Also, let me know if this is your first time on a live stream or if you've been to a couple of these before. We've got Sean on, Taylor's on. Thank you, Adorito. Susan, incredible stuff. So we'll get underway shortly, but just a bit of an introduction. My name's Liam. I'm one of the developers here at Archipelago where we create Lightroom presets and creative profiles for photographers like you. And in this live stream, we're gonna be using one of our upcoming releases, which is Quest 16 Riven, part of our Quest subscription series. So very, very excited to showcase this set to you. We're gonna be editing with it. I'll answer any questions you have about the presets, uh, anything to do with post-production in Lightroom, all that kind of stuff as we go through the stream. Uh, but not only that, we'll be giving away a pre-release copy of Riven to one of you lucky people tuning in. Uh, so if you are here live watching this stream live, just interact in the chat as we go through and we'll be choosing someone to win one of these uh, sets as a pre-release copy. And you'll also get a month's uh, Quest membership for free as well. So all to play for, just be here, interact in the chat, and we'll be picking someone at the end of the stream. So definitely stick around. So this release, uh, Quest, which we take a look at um, today, so Quest 16 Riven is part of our Quest subscription series where we release a new preset collection every single month. And the subscription is just $8 each month and it gives you a new preset collection every single month, like I said. Uh, this month's right now is the Prism FX, uh, a really interesting overlay effect within Lightroom that allows you to get a Prism uh, effect of light across the image. And then from June 1st, Riven will be available to all of our uh, subscribers. So if you're not already subscribed, get subscribed. It's an incredible um, service, incredible price. Uh, not only do you get a new preset every single month, you also get discounts on our regular Archipelago presets as well. So all to all to uh, to play for in there. So let's have a look who have we got. Lena from South Florida. Thank you, Lena, for joining. First time here, says so Susan. Welcome, Susan. We've got Remy. Yes, good stuff. Juniper says, it really is the greatest subscription I ever had. Yeah, Quest is amazing. And actually just a note on that, if you are already a subscriber to Quest, uh, and obviously we'll be giving away the Riven pre-release set, you can still get your hands on the pre-release set so you can get it early, even if you are a Quest subscriber. And if you are a winner and you are already subscribed to Quest, we'll get you some Quest swag. Um, obviously you'll get these presets anyway and you're already a member. So if that is the case, don't worry, you can still win. We'll just uh, give you some swag instead. So let's take a look at the images we're editing with today. I got these 10 incredible photos photos and we're showcasing the set with these 10 images answering any questions that you have about the set or about post-production in general so if you've got any questions to go through throw those in the chat and I'll try and answer those on the live stream as well but yeah we're just here to have a good time I'll showcase the set in just a moment but as we go through the stream um, you're going to see on each image we've got the photographer's name up in the top left uh, and then you've got the exif data just below that so you can see that as we go through. I'll showcase the set first, but then what I like to do is just give you the opportunity to let me know which images you like to see edited next. So up in the top left of each of the thumbnails, you can see a number. If you let me know which image you'd like to see edited next, I'll try and go through them in the order that you wanna see, but we'll start with image number one. I'll showcase the set and we'll go from there. So loads of people here, Louise from uh, Seattle, welcome. Brooke's on, hey yo, welcome Brooke. Taylor's already dived in saying Photo 5 is gorgeous, already dying to see it edited. All right, you've got first pick, Photo 5. So let's take a look at the set first. I'll start with image number one. This one from Amelia here, absolutely gorgeous photo. So we've got the 
uh, Riven set. This is Quest 16 Riven, and this comes with three presets. And these presets are inspired by Type 100 Peel Apart film, um, an incredible reminiscent set of that particular type of film. And you'll see as we go through, they just have such a beautiful kind of toning to them and the way that they render uh, details in there. And there's also a bunch of incredible tools as part of it and two creative profiles. So there's lots in this set. Um, so let's just run through the set first of all. I'm going to start by just setting the exposure so I'm going to increase it just a tiny little bit and this image needs just a little bit more warmth because we've got this kind of deserty type scene with the sand here and the sun just coming in over the horizon on the left. So let's take a look at the presets to begin with. AQ161 Riven and look at that what a transformation already absolutely gorgeous lovely warm tones running through and we've got that type 100 peel apart film uh, look to it. And of course, when we apply this, it's going to apply the profile as well. And like I said, there's two creative profiles in this set. So that's AQ16-1. AQ16-2. Some nice cool toning in this one. You can see how different that is from the first preset, but still has that really nice filmic vibe to it. Gorgeous greens and blues of this one. And AQ16-3. So again, really, really nice. It's a bit of a warmer preset, but you've got a bit more magenta in there in comparison to a preset number one. So lots of variety, even just across these three presets. So let's go ahead and apply one of these for this image. And I think it's gotta be AQ161 just because of the warm tone in and we've got this kind of sandy deserty vibe. So I think this is a good one to go for. And then what you can see up at the top right here, we have the expired film B profile. So there's an expired film A and an expired film B profile. And this is set to 100 as default. And we can go into here and we can adjust this so we can reduce the amount of this expired film look or we can increase it. So absolutely stunning. So let's go for, I'm gonna increase it just a bit, maybe around about there, so 130. But not only that, we've got some more goodies in here. So we have some tools that are included, including three borders, uh, three color casts, and a contrast plus tool as well. So I'll show you the borders first of all. These are absolutely amazing. Um, these emulate that filmic look from Type 100 Film, where we have these amazing borders. We've got kind of um, marks along the edges here. We have areas where the film is kind of peeling away. Um, absolutely stunning. So this is border number one. And it's just impressive that you can get this right here in Lightroom, right? You don't have to go into Photoshop and apply an overlay. It's just one click and you've got something that looks incredible like this. So border one, border two. So we have these rounded corners at the top right. Uh, we have uh, this effect along the bottom of the image where it almost looks like water damage. We've got a little bit of light leak as well. Incredibly pretty. There's also some dust on this one. Uh, this is probably my favorite border. I love this one. And then border number three, uh, so a little bit uh, slimmer of a border, uh, more squared off, but what we can see along the bottom there is we have this really pretty light leak. Um, so three gorgeous borders, I think for this one, let's have a look, I would be tempted, I would be tempted by border one for this, let's go for it. And then we've got three color cast uh, presets. So these again use the masking tools within Lightroom uh, and they apply these filmic color casts over the image. So you can see up in the top right here, down at the bottom, uh, so up top left and bottom right, you can see these glowing warm tones coming in in certain areas. And then we've got color cast two, which is more sort of like in bands, vertical bands across the image. And then color cast three. So I think color cast three for this looks really nice. It's quite subtle, but just adds a little bit uh, of that additional kind of film look to it. And then lastly, we have Contrast Plus. So if you want to have a little bit of a boosted look to your image, if you want a little bit more richness in the contrast, you can simply come down here and just add Contrast Plus. And you can see that just adds a little bit more definition to the image. And it actually works really nice for this. Let's go ahead and apply Contrast Plus. And I'll just bring the exposure up a tiny little bit. And let's play around with the uh, expired film profile again. Yeah, I think 130 was looking really good to me. So there we go. So that is AQ161. Riven preset. We've got the expired film profile, which we've increased to 130. We've applied border one and color cast three, and then we've used the contrast plus tool here as well. So here is the before. And what an incredible transformation. Here's the after. Absolutely stunning. Here's the side by side comparison for you.
So let's just catch up on the chat here. Can't wait to see this new preset. Absolutely. Juniper says five and eight stand out to me. So we'll do five next and then we'll do eight after that. Hi from South Africa. Hey, Kale. Thank you for joining in. Elizabeth, finally here. Yes. Thank you, Elizabeth, for joining. Brooke says, so dreamy. This photo is stunning, says Kale. Yeah, nice. Thank you very much. Loving the borders. Louis says fire. I think that's a great word to describe it. All right, let's take a look at another image then. So we said five next, which is this really pretty indoor uh, image here. We've got this light spilling in from the window, I assume. Uh, we've got this subject laid across the um, bed with the flowers here. Really pretty. This image is by Shelby. So let's start by setting the exposure. So I'm going to increase it just a little bit here. I'm just kind of looking at the exposure levels on the subject. So probably somewhere around there. And I feel like it needs a tiny touch more warmth. Yeah, probably around about there. Let's take a look then. So AQ161. Again, that's looking really pretty with those warm tones. AQ162. That's looking nice. Actually, we've got the greens in the stems of the flower and the color in the wall behind. So this one looks really, really good. And then something a little bit more moody, AQ163. That's really nice for sort of more muted colors uh, and a little bit more contrast in that one as well. So I think I'm drawn to AQ162. Let me know what you think. Um, let's have a look. So I'm just going to bring the exposure down a tiny little bit. And let's have a look at expired film B. So I'm probably going to leave it at the default amount, which was 100. It's a nice balance between that expired film look and something a little bit more um, clean. Uh, let's take a look at the borders. So I don't want to use I don't want to use a border that's going to cut off anything important. So I'm probably going to go for border three, so it's a little bit slimmer. And with border three, you got these nice marks along the edge here. Uh, obviously, it's quite a simple border itself, but you can kind of see where the image bleeds over the edge. You have these little marks across the border. And then, of course, down the bottom, we've got that incredible light leak. Uh, color cast. I don't know if I'd use color cast on this. Maybe three again, actually. Just, yeah, I quite like that, actually. Just brings in a little pop at the top right over here and down in the bottom there. That's looking super nice. And I don't think this image needs a boost in contrast. It's looking really nice as it is. Um, here's where we started and here's where we are so far. I think a really nice example of what this preset is able to do in terms of balancing the highlights and the shadows. So you can see on the original, we had obviously these kind of uh, bright highlights down here and we had to lift the exposure just to get um, the right exposure on the subject. Uh, but it's still kind of retaining lots of detail. You can see all the texture in the uh, in the bed there, in the highlights. So it handles that really, really well. And of course, we can go something more clean and neutral looking if we drag the profile down, or something more warm toned with that expired filmic tone. So it just lifts those shadows, adds that warm tone in. And I'd be tempted, maybe. I mean, cranking it on this does actually look really, really nice. Um, I can't decide whether to go all the way up kind of keep it somewhere a bit more neutral. I don't know, I quite like it warm. I think it suits the subject matter. Lena says border three is my favorite. Lauren says perfect edit. Thank you, Lauren. Uh, Juniper says so gorgeous. Love how creamy the skin ended up. And Unette says simply stunning. Thank you very much. Taylor says uh, they all look perfect on this photo. I love two and three on this so much, yeah two and three looking good but I think two just really nice it lifted the shadows quite a lot it's got this nice green tone in um, which just gives that lovely pop in the uh, the flowers there so here's the before here's after and I'll show you the side by side comparison absolutely gorgeous I love the borders I love the color casts they just really push that filmic look uh, and this emulates that super well if I go ahead and zoom in on the subject you can see lovely amount of grain there as well just adds a nice bit of texture but another thing that I really love, because it's emulating that filmic uh, look where the details are kind of reduced naturally um, when you shoot with film, uh, you can see like any imperfections and things on the subject are just kind of smoothed out naturally. Uh, it doesn't look fake, anything like that, but it just softens the image up in a really, really nice way and it's incredibly flattering for portraits especially. 
Um, and again, if we take a look at the, uh, the flowers here, I love the way it's rendering the greens and the kind of ready orange color in the flowers there as well. Really, really pretty. So there we go, that's image number two. All right, we said eight next, which was a popular choice, I think. But let me know which image you want to see after we've done eight. All right, let's dive in on eight. So this one's from Anna. Incredible landscape. This is so, so pretty. We've got this amazing mountain range in the background. I'd love to know where this is, if anyone knows. Uh, but just incredible mountain range. You've got these amazing layers behind, obviously, the couple in the middle here. This uh, lovely orange in the trees. Just a stunning image. I mean, it looks beautiful um, straight as it is, but let's go ahead and apply the presets. I think it might need a slight increase in the exposure, but I'll probably apply the preset first because it's one of those types of images where it's hard to tell what it needs. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the presets first. So AQ16 and one, and we get that really beautiful, nostalgic, warm tone in. It kind of mutes down those highlights just reduces the blues in the sky there. So we get that really lovely kind of vintage tone in that you would see from this type of film stock that it emulates. And then we've got AQ16 too. So that's retaining some of those blue tones. We get kind of those greenish tones running through as well. Um, this one's looking very, very pretty. And then AQ16 three. Again, that's slightly more moody looking. And I actually think for this one, it could be three. Yeah, I think three is looking really nice. I'm gonna bring the exposure up just a little bit, just to make sure that the subjects are nicely exposed. Let's take a look at expired film A. So this is the profile that this one uses. So I'm probably gonna increase this, maybe go quite high, so like 180. That's looking really nice. Let's have a look at the borders. So border one. Border two is looking very, very nice on this, I think. Border three is also pretty, but I think two, yeah, two is looking really, I love these sort of rounded corners at the top here and the way it frames the image. Um, so let's go for that. Um, you've actually also got, you might not be able to see it too well on this, so I'll, uh, I'll show you on another image, but you've actually got a little tiny bit of uh, dust um, that is applied when you apply this particular um, frame as well. So again, it just pushes that, that filmic look. Uh, color cast, let's see if we want to use a color cast on this. So I think I like it without, but if I was going to use one, I think color cast two is really, really nice because of the way it sort of has these vertical um, strips down the image. It, again, just gives that really filmic look. Uh, so let's edit it with them actually, because I think that looks really pretty. Uh, we don't need any more contrast. I think this is looking good as it is. Um, just gonna balance out the, yeah, that's looking good to me. So here's before, and here's after. Again, really, really pretty. It kind of reminds me a little bit of um, like a, a postcard, like an old, like an old travel postcard that's kind of battered and worn. Really pretty. Here's the side-by-side -side comparison. Adorito said three as well, so you agreed with me. Lee says lush. Taylor says wow, so gorgeous. Taylor says seriously, it looks like a painting. Yeah, it does, so nice. So I'll go ahead and show you the details on this one. There's the uh, close up of the couple. You see the mountain range behind them there. Just love the way that it's rendering the, the colors in all of the, the grass, the tree. Very, very pretty. And again, those borders are just super nice. All right, so three images down, seven to go. Let me know what you wanna see next. And do feel free to ask if you have any questions as well. Susan says they really do have a postcard look, so pretty. Brooke says number three. So we'll do image number three next. Susan also picked three and then Taylor says four or seven would be amazing to edit. 
Okay, so three and then four. Lovely. Thank you for all of your uh, selections. Appreciate it. Welcome to anyone just joining. We are editing with the upcoming Quest 16 Riven presets. These will be coming out on the 1st of June as part of our Quest subscription series. You can subscribe right now for $8. It's just $8 a month. Um, you'll get your hands on the Prism FX right now, which is the current month set. And then on the 1st of June, we'll be releasing uh, Quest Riven. You'll be able to download that for free as part of your subscription. And subscription just costs $8 uh, each month. So incredible price. You also get discounts uh, on previously released archived uh, presets as part of the Quest subscription. And you also get 30% off current uh, Archipelago preset um, collections as well. So absolute bargain. So let's dive in. Number three we'll do next. Another one from Shelby here. This one's gorgeous. I'm going to bring the exposure up. Decent amount. I feel like it needs a tiny touch more warmth. Nothing too major. Let's take a look at the preset. So AQ16 1. AQ16 2. I like what it's doing the reds in that one. AQ16 3. Ooh, this one's a tough one. I think I like 3 on this one again, just because the amount of contrast that it's given um, it just separates the subject and, of course, the, the plane from the background. I'm going to bring the exposure up just a tiny little bit more and we'll take a look at expired film A. Oh yeah, let's crank that. So set that to 200 all the way up so we get that really nice expired film tone. Kind of has this greenish hue to the shadows which is very, very nice. Uh, let's have a look and see if we'll use a border on this one. Yeah, border three with this nice little light leak at the bottom here. Just bringing a little bit of detail down at the bottom and we have these simple borders around the edge. And let's take a look at color cast. I'd probably use Colorcast 3 if I was going to use it, but I think this one looks good without a Colorcast. So I'm going to go with it as it is. And personal preference, if you want something a little bit more punchy, you could add the contrast, but I don't think it needs it for this image. I think that looks really, really nice as it is. I would probably leave that there. I think that looks really, really pretty. There's before and there's after. That's with AQ16 3. We've increased the expired film profile all the way up to 200, and we've applied border three as well. There's your side by side. Super pretty. Love this. Melly says, whoa, the borders. Love. Yes, Melanie. Lena says perfection. Brooke says love, love, love. Susan, love that. Such a gorgeous photo, says Taylor. All right, so image number four, and then we'll do seven, but let me know what you want to see after. I think 10 was selected. Yeah, Lena picked 10 as well. So we'll do four, uh, and then seven, and then 10. So another amazing image. This one's from Anna Ascari. We've got this lovely top-down view of the couple in the boat. I'm assuming it's maybe like Venice or somewhere, um, but very, very pretty. So the first thing I'm going to do is just set the exposure. And I actually think this needs to come down just a tiny little bit. And then let's take a look at the yeah, tiny increase to the temperature as well. And that's looking good to me. So let's have a look. AQ16-1. Looking very, very nice. AQ16-2. Love that. And then AQ16-3. Ooh, this one's a tough one. I think it's between 1 and 2 for this one. What do we think? 1 or 2? One, we've got that kind of consistent warm tone in. All three are perfect for this photo. Thanks, Taylor. No help at all. Come on, give me a hand. Lena says two. Two, the teal water, says Lauren. Ah, oh, here we go. Loads of people saying two. Nice one. All right, let's go for it. I agree. The teal and then this kind of color that is rendering the wood in the boat is very, very nice. So, yeah, I'm loving this. So I think I'm going to... Bring the expired profile down just maybe a tiny little bit just back off the warmth a little bit just so we get a little bit of separation between the greens of the water and then this kind of nice ready orange color of the boat let's have a look at the borders these are so nice look at this and 
I think border one, if I was gonna have a border, I just love this gorgeous tearing and kind of marks all down the side, down at the bottom corner here as well. Incredible. Color cast, uh, I think I'm gonna leave it without a color cast, although three does look nice. Nah, let's put three on. It's looking good, I like what it's doing just in the top here. Bring in a little bit of something there. Uh, we don't need any additional contrast, so I think we're gonna leave it as it is. I'm just gonna bring the exposure back down a tiny little bit. So there we go, that's the before. And there's the after. And that's with AQ16 2. We've just backed the profile off a tiny little bit. In fact, it's it's basically set how it was. It's, it's on 97, the default is 100. So basically I've done nothing there. And then I've applied uh, border one as well to this one. And color cast three. There's your side by side. And that looks so, so pretty. I love as well that the border actually hides this, the edge. Um, I'm assuming it's like a bridge or something that the photographer stood on. Um, and it just kind of hides that behind the border at the bottom here. And you can still get the kind of pillar on the side and then this bit of wood here. So you, all the elements that are important in the image are still there, but it just kind of hides that, which I love. And also this little kind of bit here as well. So love that. Borders coming in clutch. Here's before, here's after. Taylor says, the teal water is to die for. You know, my jaw is dropped. Pick it up, you know, pick your jaw up. There's more to come. Honestly, amazing set. Thank you. Yeah. Seriously stunning, says Lise. All righty. So image number seven and then image number 10. Oh, I love this photo. Another one from Amelia here. I'm gonna bring the exposure up a decent amount on this one. And it just needs a little bit of warmth. Nothing too major. I feel like we've got a bit of a sunset vibe. You can see the color in the sky and the lights coming across from this side. So I'm just making that look how I imagine it did in person. So probably somewhere around about there. And let's take a look at the presets. So AQ16-1, very nice. AQ16-2, AQ16-3. Now I'm drawn to two just because of the kind of the contrasting color where we've got the blue sky popping through, we've got the greens in the grass, and then obviously the orange um, in the in the trousers of the subject there as well. So I'm quite tempted to go for two again on this. Let's do it. Uh, expired film B. Oh, that's so nice. So you can just see what it's doing with the blues in the sky there. It kind of pushes it over to be more teal. The greens look really pretty and we just get a nice warmth running through the image. So I think I'm gonna increase it a little bit about there, 164. And let's take a look at the borders. I think maybe, oh no, yeah, border. Border two, 100% I love border two on this one. Color cast, yeah, I think we'll put color cast on there. Color cast one looks really nice on this one. And do we need any extra contrast? No, we don't. I like it as it is. I'm just gonna bring the exposure down a tiny little bit and that looks super nice. So there's before. Obviously we've increased the exposure a decent amount on this one, uh, but that's the before and that's after. Um, bring it back down a little bit. And there's your side by side. Complete transformation, super, super nice. Here's the close up. You can see that lovely grain the way that it's rendering the colors throughout the image. So, so pretty. Quill's on, hey Quill, thanks for joining us again. Late to the party, no worries. Been looking forward to this for weeks, no problem. We're only maybe about halfway through and you can rewatch the, the replay after as well, so you've not missed out, you're all good. Uh, Taylor says, this set is so stunning. I'm so excited for it to come out. Yes, absolutely. Get excited. Hey, not just for it to come out, you could be in with a chance of winning it pre-release. You might get your hands on it early. So freaking good, says Lena. Thank you very much. Unbelievable, says Melanie. Love it. All right, so image 10, and we've still got number two, number six, 
and number nine. So we'll do we'll do it in that order maybe. Uh, 10, two, six, and nine, unless you wanna see anything specific. Um, but let's do 10. Love this photo, really, really nice. The composition is, is lovely. I like the motion blur in it. Um, it's just, it's very evocative. I love this photo, very, very pretty. I'm not gonna play around with the exposure too much. Maybe just increase it a little bit and maybe a tiny little bit of warmth, but nothing too major because I like the moodiness of it. And I think I already know what I want to do with this. I think I'm gonna go for AQ16-1. I love the warm toning. I love the way it renders the the water in the background, these waves kind of got that slight greenish tone, which is really pretty. Let's have a look at the expired film profile. Oh yeah, I'm gonna crank that, set that to about 164. Uh, and I don't know if I would do anything else to this. I think this looks really, really pretty as it is. Here's the before and here's after, and that's just by applying AQ16-1 and we just increased the profile a tiny little bit. Um, of course, could put a border on there. They've got the color casts. Um, I don't think it needs any boost in contrast because I like the amount that we can see the shadows in this and the, the kind of way it's rendering the, the highlights and the tones throughout the range. But actually, um, I will show you something cool on this image. We'll do that at the end, actually. I'll show you something cool that you can do with the borders um, at the end of the stream. So we'll come back to this one, but let me just show you. There's the before, there's after, there's the side by side. Um, so this one, we've just gone for a little bit of a simple edit. We just applied AQ16, one, and we've increased the profile to 164. Magic says Fabrizio. Thank you so much. Quill says, I have a newborn baby and she will be modeling this absolute nectar of a set come June if mummy can shake the bleary eyes. Yes, that's something to look forward to. And we can't wait to see the images as well. Make sure to share in the, uh, in the Facebook group. All right, so let's jump into number two. So another indoor image here. This one's quite underexposed. So I'm gonna start by bringing the exposure up. Uh, a decent amount, maybe a tiny touch more warmth, and I think maybe just back off the tint a tiny little bit. And let's do a little bit of spot removal. Only a tiny little bit. Just for a little bit of a cleaner look. There we go. I'm just gonna auto straighten that. All right, cool, so that's a good starting point. Let's take a look at AQ16-1 looking very very pretty aq16 2 is looking very nice and aq16 3 now 2 is looking good because i like the way it renders the the greens in the wall but i'm gonna go with three on this because i'm gonna go for something a little bit moodier and i'm gonna i find with uh, aq16 3 i really really like cranking the expired film a profile like all the way up it looks really, really nice. I'm just gonna bring the exposure up a little bit and actually I think for this, I'm just gonna bring the shadows up a tiny little bit. Let's have a look if we wanna use a border. Oh, that's looking very good. That's border one, border two, border three. So border two, if I just show you actually while we're on here, uh, and border one, you can actually see the, uh, the dust that it includes. So if you kind of look around um, where the wall is here, so you've got that extra dust and marks that you get as well as the border. And you get that on two as well. And then of course with three, it's a little bit more simple. It's just the border around the edge with just some of those marks on the border and then that beautiful light leak at the bottom. And I think three looks really good on this. I don't know, yeah, I think three. Let's go for it. I think it frames the subject nicely. Uh, color cast, a little bit more predominant on this just because it's a darker image. So I probably wouldn't use one on this. And it, we don't need any extra contrast, I don't think, for this one. But again, you've got the tool just there um, if you need it. So this is the before. Again, quite a dark image, so we've brought the exposure up a decent amount. Um, but we applied AQ16-3. We cranked up the profile, uh, which is the expired film profile, up to 177. And then we've applied border three. So incredibly nice. There's the side-by-side -side comparison. Love that.
Quill says, OMG, Border 3, though. Yes. Melanie says, excited for Image 9. Good stuff. We'll get onto that in just a moment. Loving this edit so much. Thank you, Lauren. Gorgeous skin tones, too, says Brooke. Hey, Israel. Good to have you on here. We love you, too, Israel. We love you, too, mate. So good to have you on here. All right, so let's take a look at image number six and then we've got nine. And then what we'll do after we've done nine, um, we'll check out image number 10 again. I'll show you a little kind of uh, fun uh, thing that you can do with the borders. And then we'll come back and we'll share the winner for the pre-release copy of Riven. So you get your hands on that early and also a month's uh, Quest subscription for free if you're not already a subscriber. Uh, don't worry if you win and you are already subscribed to Quest. Um, we'll get you Riven uh, pre-release early so you can get your hands on it early and start editing with it straight away. We'll also get you some Quest swag as well if you're already a subscriber so you can still be in with a chance of winning something. So let's dive into image number six. Really, really nice photo. I love this setup actually. Well, pretty room and we've got the dress hanging from the chandelier here. So I'm just going to start by yeah, tiny little auto straighten. It's looking nice. I think I'm going to bring the warmth up just because I feel like that looks a little more natural. I think exposure is looking good. And I've got, I think it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be Quest 16.3 because I think, again, that kind of more moody look that it offers, um, I think suits this subject really well. And I'm gonna crank that profile because that's what I do, I love it. Um, so that looks really nice. You can see how it just mutes down those, those highlights. So it's, you kind of, your eye's not drawn too much to the doorway here, you kind of focused on the, on the dress and the shoes. Uh, let's have a look at the borders. I don't wanna go for border one because that one's probably a little too big. I'd probably go for, if I was gonna put a border, I'd go for border three just because I feel like you lose too much of the chandelier, which I think helps to kind of give an idea of what's going on in the room. Um, so if I was gonna do it, I'd go for border three, which is just a little bit thinner. Um, yeah, let's apply that. And then color cast, I think that could, yeah, that could definitely help this image. And I think I'm gonna use color cast one, um, just kind of adds this little uh, glow of light here and up here. And again, just pushes that uh, filmic kind of look. I'm gonna bring the exposure down because I like I like this as a more moody kind of shot. So somewhere around there. And again, I don't think this needs any extra contrast. I really like the way that the, the tonality is rendered in this, that kind of softness. So here's before and here's after. And this is with AQ16 3. We've got the expired film A profile cranked all the way up to 200 and we've applied border three and color cast one. Looks super, super nice. So there's the side by side. That gorgeous border with the light leaks. And then we've got the, uh, the pop of warm toning over here. I love just these little imperfections in the border. Just really help to sell the, the look of this uh, peel apart film that it inspi inspired by. So there you go, before and after. All right, these are looking really, really nice actually as a set together now that we're there edited. Uh, so we've got nine, we'll do that one in just a moment. Let's catch up on the chat. Israel says, I'm here, love you team, yes. Uh, awesome presets, thank you Israel. Dying over this says Lena. Don't die yet, you need to edit with them first. Quill says, sorry if this has been asked already, but does color cast come with it? Yes, color cast is part of the set. Um, so you'll see in Quest 16, you've got the three presets, you've got the three borders, the three color casts and the contrast tool, along with the two profiles that are included with this set as well. So lots and lots of uh, amazing editing tools that are included in this set for everything you need to create this gorgeous look that you can see here so let's have a look <laughs> time to curse my fat thumbs all right so image number nine another gorgeous one here from anna love this really really pretty the way that the couple are laid 
in the grass. We've got this kind of long, almost bamboo. I think it might be bamboo actually in the background. And they've kind of got a Shakespeare book here as well. Lovely setup. I'm going to bring the temperature up just a little bit. I think the exposure is probably where it needs to be, but we'll have a look in a moment. Uh, so AQ161. AQ16-2 and AQ16-3. I would say it's between, I think for me it'd be between AQ16-3 and AQ16-1. But two looks really nice as well because of the way it renders the greens. But I think for this it's either one or two. I'm tempted by one, but let me know. Uh, one or three, sorry, is what I should be saying. Yannette says three. Richard says three. All right, three it is. Richard has spoken. All right, here we go. The curse of, of preset three is I just want to crank up the expired film profile on every single image because it looks so good. So I'm just gonna do that because this is my stream and I can do what I like. So there we go, expired film set to 200. And a bunch of people have now said preset one, so it's too late. Richard has spoken and he created these presets, so he wins. All right, let's have a look. So do we want a border on this? I think we do because this kind of setup definitely has that nostalgic feel to it. And I think I am tempted by border two. And let's have a look at color cast. Yeah, I'd probably go Colorcast 3 again, but I think I might leave it on this image. I like it as it is. We kind of have a little bit of cast coming in from the corners of the border. They're kind of included as part of the border. This little bit of light leak or color cast, which I think is really nice. So I'm going to leave it as it is. Uh, so we'll look if we need any extra. No, we don't need any contrast. I think that's looking good. I'm just going to bring the exposure down just so we kind of have that little bit of a moody look. So there's the before. And there's after, and that's with AQ16-3, expired film A, profile cranked all the way up to 200. And we've got border two on there as well. There's the side by side. If we go ahead and zoom in. Super nice, definitely suits this image really, really well. That nostalgic feel. This one looks like a vintage ad for an American Eagle or something. Love the faded tones. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's a very well curated image by Anna, this one, I think. And I think it suits this type of edit very, very well. All right, so that's all of the edits done. Um, so if you have any questions about the presets or about uh, post-production in Lightroom in general, feel free to ask them now. Um, we'll be coming back and announcing a winner of a pre-release copy of the Riven presets shortly. But before that, I just wanna show you something cool you can do. Could you show number eight again, before and after please? Number eight before and after this one, here we go. Absolutely, Diana, no problem at all. There you go, that's your before and after of number eight. So what I was going to show you with the uh, with the borders, one kind of fun thing that you can do with them uh, is play around with your crop. So I'll show you what I mean. If we start by cropping this image, I'm going to go for a square crop. I'm just going to frame the subjects kind of in the center of that frame crop. Once you've applied a crop, um, you can then apply the border after and it will match the aspect ratio of the crop that you've got. So when it comes to actually editing uh, with this set, if you want to use a border or a color cast or anything like that, it is worth you uh, cropping the image first before you apply that because the border is going to snap to the aspect ratio of your image. But you can kind of use that creatively as well. So uh, I've cropped this to a square. I'm going to set it back there. And now I'm going to go ahead and apply one of the borders. So I think maybe, maybe border two. 
So you can see that's you know uh, adhered to the square crop. Um, all the elements of it kind of morph to fit the square crop. But what you can then do is you can go back into uh, the crop tool and you can reset. And now you've got this really interesting kind of unique way of using the borders where you kind of create a little vignette within the image um, of a certain aspect and then have the borders sort of fill out the rest of the image. So I think um, what I'd do with this is I'd probably crop it to like four by three and maybe have, you could have the sort of square bit in the center of the frame or you could have it sort of off center for something a little bit more interesting. So you go like, like that. Um, maybe like there and that's just a, a kind of a, a way of, of getting a little bit more creative with what you can do with the with the borders but they're super simple to use you, you just one click and it applies the effect but you can see it actually has loads of elements that make up this border um, so they're all kind of listed in here so another kind of top tip is if there's anything that you're not sure you like in this so let's say if you didn't want the the yellow tips which is given, given this kind of color in the corner here you can just go into the mask and you can either delete it or just hide it and you can see that just removes the effect from there if i show that again you can see what that's just done um, so yeah you can go through each of these and you can adjust them um, moving them around you, you could do that theoretically but because there's so many different elements uh, it's not necessarily going to work super well because you have to move all of the elements individually so they are designed to just be a one click but you can go in and customize that so if you didn't want let's say the dust which you can kind of see on the image um, here and here you can just go to the dust layer and you can just hide that and just get rid of the dust um, so there you go top tip for you uh, try cropping the image first apply the border and then reset the crop back to the original and you've got something quite unique and different Amazing, so we'll be announcing the winner of the pre-release set and a month's uh, quest membership for free in just a moment. Let's have a look at the chat. Lena says, mind blown, so cool. Brooke says, I love this image so much and what a cool tip, no worries. Susan says, that is very cool. Sean says, love that effect. Yes, absolutely. So here we are, we've got the winners. Uh, which is plural, which is great news. So two of you are gonna be winning a pre-release copy uh, of the Riven presets, and that is Lena and Juniper. Congratulations to you both. You win a pre-release copy of Riven. Uh, for everyone else, if you're already subscribed to Quest, great, no worries. You're gonna get your hands on this on the 1st of June. Um, as part of your uh, Quest membership. And if you're not subscribed, it's a great opportunity to get subscribed now. If you subscribe today, you'll be able to download the Prism Effects, which again, use these masking tools that we saw with the borders here. You'll be able to download those for free as part of your subscription. And then on June 1st, you'll be treated to the Riven presets um, as well as part of your subscription. So go and get signed up today. It's just eight US dollars and you can be part of the Quest family. But big congratulations to Lena and Juniper. Uh, and thank you to everyone for joining the live stream. I love hosting these. Uh, just a great way to showcase these sets. Um, and actually, while you're here, while I've got your attention, before you go anywhere, uh, a couple of bits of news. We've got Celestial back from the vault. Um, so that's back for a limited time. So if you missed out on Celestial when that was released the first time around, you are able to buy Celestial. It's in the store right now. So you can go ahead and buy that. And you can get 40% off those presets using the code Celestial40. So make sure to take advantage of, of that before they go back in the vault on June 3rd. Uh, and we're also working hard to uh, get our next quest release, which is July's quest release, ready. We've been doing some internal testing. This one's from Chris. Uh, and we've got some apps, oh, it's looking so good. So we're doing the internal testing with that soon, but make sure to join our Archipelago Collective Facebook group and we'll do some sneak peeks and teasers as we get more into the month of June uh, so you can see what's coming with uh, Quest in July. Uh, but that's it, thank you for joining. Really, really enjoy these streams. I hope to see you again in the next time. And uh, if you can, give us a like on this video just so that other people can see that you've enjoyed it and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. That's it, thank you. See you in the next one.